Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, I will be trying out a new way to make hot cocoa bombs that I saw on TikTok and letting you know if I think it is worth making again. So let's get into this. For Christmas in 2020, I made some hot cocoa bombs using my silicone cupcake molds and they were a hit. So this past Christmas, I decided to make mini cup peppermint hot cocoa bombs. To make this, you will need hot chocolate mix, melting chocolate of your choice, I got mine on clearance at Target, mini marshmallows, sprinkles if you want decoration, mini cups, and peppermint sticks. I got both the cups and the peppermint sticks from the Dollar Tree. I began by cutting two slits opposite of each other in the cups, almost entirely to the base of the cup, and taping them back up with some clear scotch tape. This helps you remove the chocolate mold from the cup later on. I prepared all of the cups, but only ended up using about half of them. Next, I melted the chocolate according to the package. This usually takes a few times in the microwave to become the consistency that you want, so be patient, but don't overcook the chocolate. Once the chocolate is nice and melty, Pour a bunch into a cup and swirl it around the sides of the cup, making sure to cover every inch of the inner surface. Then pour any extra into your next cup and repeat the process. Make sure to add in more chocolate if needed. Initially, I thought just one coat would be enough to have a nice firm chocolate cup, but I found that the chocolate cracked as I tried to take it out of the plastic molds. So I stopped trying to remove the chocolate and instead gave the remaining cups an additional coat of chocolate on the inside, using the remains of the broken chocolate created in the process. Then, once the chocolate cups were cooled and removed, I dipped one end of a peppermint stick into some chocolate and placed this end at the base of the chocolate mold to secure it in place. Next, I filled up the cups with hot cocoa mix all the way to the top, making a mess in the process, of course. If you want to avoid this mess, consider creating a funnel with paper and pouring it in that way. Once the cups were filled, I used some white melting chocolate that I had on hand to seal the top of the hot cocoa bomb. You don't have to use a different chocolate here, but I wanted it to blend in with the white marshmallows. Speaking of which, while the chocolate is still warm, add the midi marshmallows on top. You can even create a second layer like I did. You could end here, but I thought I would use up the extra white chocolate by piping on a little around the rim of the cup and rolling the cup in sprinkles. I really like how this step added a bit of flair and color to the final product. Mm -hmm. 
When we enjoyed these hot cocoa bombs, we didn't get a big explosion of marshmallows like you would with a basic hot cocoa bomb. This was because of how they were assembled. Because the mini marshmallows were stuck to the hot cocoa bomb with the white melting chocolate, they remained submerged in the liquid and eventually melted before the drink could even be mixed. So if you like having marshmallows float to the top, make sure to add a few inside the cup part of the hot cocoa bomb. On the other hand, the peppermint stick made the drink bubble at first, which was entertaining and interesting to observe. Making these peppermint hot cocoa bombs was definitely a lot of work, but I can see making them again for the right event. Let me know down in the comments if you plan on giving this a try, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'd love to have you stick around, and I will catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.